Hi, and welcome to Canna Basics. Today, we're going to learn how to roll a nearly perfect blunt with a kingpin blunt roller. Did you know that Kingpin, who makes great tobacco and herbal blunt wraps, also makes the same kind of rolling machines used to roll perfect joints in a size long enough and thick enough to roll blunts? Well, I didn't either, but I do now, and I have one courtesy of Raw, so today we're going to learn how to use it. The first thing we're going to do is to prepare a nice rolling surface. We're going to use this Raw backflip tray, and then we're going to go ahead and prepare our cannabis. And you can use a grinder if you want to grind your cannabis but I honestly prefer to roll a blunt with cannabis that's been pulled apart by hand. If you use a grinder, you're probably gonna need a little bit more cannabis too, cause it packs in, but I'm gonna use my hands and just chop up the cannabis that way, get all the stems and seeds out. And we're gonna need almost two grams of cannabis there. We're using about 1.75 grams. And I find that uh, you're gonna need a minimum of a gram and a half. Uh, if you don't have that much, it's not gonna work in the machine. Once you have your cannabis prepared though, you're gonna go ahead and start loading the cannabis into the machine like we normally would uh, load our marijuana in to a rolling machine. So that means that we're gonna put it into the center and just use our hands to even it out until it's nice and even. And one thing about these machines is it's, it's big enough to roll any size blunt wrap. So you'll find that even with the kingpin blunt wraps, it's still longer than the actual blunt wraps sometimes. So what you'll wanna do then is to put your cannabis to one side or the other. So I've just used my finger and I've pushed the marijuana all to the left side and to the length of the paper or the wrap that I'm using. But don't put the paper in yet. I've got the wrap set aside, but I do have one I can close the machine. And then with the roller that's the closest to me, I'm gonna roll it one time around just to even out and to round out the cannabis. And then I'm gonna start feeding in the paper. Now, if you don't have enough cannabis in there, your paper is gonna feed itself back out. If you have enough, it's gonna go ahead and roll around, but leave just enough paper out so that you can lick it. And then just before you roll it into the machine, lick it and roll it down into the machine. And that's going to, uh, to round and basically seal up your blunt and it's gonna be perfectly round. Uh, but you probably will have to work on the seal and because uh, most blunt wraps don't use actual glue. So you'll go ahead and uh, lick and stick and get your seal wrapped around. And then this is optional, but I really do recommend using a crutch inside or a tip inside of your blunt. So you're gonna roll ahead and roll up a tip, but instead of rolling it small like you would uh, if you're rolling it inside when you roll it, uh, kind of roll it kind of big and loose so that it's gonna expand. So you want a tip that's big and loose and it's gonna open up to be bigger than the blunt itself when it, it's naturally open. But while it's coiled up a little bit, start on your loosest end of your blunt and then just Push it in, don't force it very hard, but just push nice and slow and it's gonna push in there and it's also gonna pack and help uh, firm up your uh, blunt. Okay, and then once you got your tip pushed in, uh, go ahead and finish using uh, uh, moisture and sealing off the blunt wrap and sealing that tip into the blunt. And then once you have your uh, tip in one side, then go ahead and finish packing in. Uh, you're, surely you're gonna have cannabis that has fallen out and some that didn't make it into the blunt. And so what you're gonna do now is to use your fingertip or some kind of blunt object and pack that cannabis into the other end of the joint. And once you've packed it in, you've got 1.75 grams inside of that blunt. It's, it's very evenly weighted and it's, it's nice dense roll. It's almost perfectly round. You might wanna go ahead and fix your tip. If it's not uh, perfectly even, you can uh, even it out. So it's got a nice uh, filter tip there. And courtesy of the machine, we have an almost perfectly rolled blunt. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you know, you're using a machine that's a cop out, you can't roll a blunt. Don't listen to those people. If it works for you, it rolls a great looking blunt, it smokes good, use it. Don't worry about what people say. This is one of the best uh, blunts I've smoked in a while. It, it burnt very evenly, and that uh, Kingpin hemp wrap with no tobacco tasted great. So I highly recommend this, give it a shot. If you wanna pick one of these up, you can find them on Amazon at Smoke Shops. I've got some links in the description where you can find uh, the blunt wraps, the kingpin machine, and the tray, all that kind of stuff on Amazon. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to Roughhouse Studios for more cannabis culture videos made just for you. And thanks for watching.